Hello friends, welcome back to the shop and welcome to a new series where we're going to be doing some refurbishments on this uh, custom built pipe for my friend Jack Kurtz. Uh, this pipe's got some interesting history to it and is rather unique in that it's a carved custom built and you can see there that beautiful dog head on the front. Um, but even more important than that is how the pipe uh, came into my hands. And that's another story of uh, the incredible generosity of the YouTube pipe community. So I had mentioned offhandedly that uh, Jack had told me that he really wanted, well, first off, you need to know uh, about Jack is that Jack is a dog lover. He's, he's, a, he's a big dog lover. And he particularly loves uh, Spaniels. And I mentioned offhandedly during one of my uh, videos that Jack was hoping to find a carved custom build with a dog's head on it. And I was surprised by that because I had never seen a carved custom build, but I just happened to get one in from another customer that was a carved horse head. And uh, so, you know, obviously custom build did make these. And Doug Owen from the Cargo Hold got in touch with me very soon after that video and said, I have one. I have a carved uh, custom built with a dog's head on it, and I'd be happy to, to to send it to you, and you can fix it up for Jack. And, you know, just great generosity from Doug in, in agreeing to do that. Now, what's interesting is, while I knew that Jack was a lover of Spaniels, I did not say that in the video. Um, I just said dogs. And Doug didn't know it, but it turns out that this is actually a spaniel, <laughs> so this is really quite uh, quite a, a remarkable coincidence. Uh, and again, great generosity. So let's take a look at the pipe and see what we need to do. Uh, it's actually in fantastic shape, so there's really very relatively little that I want to do here. I I wanted to tell the story more than anything. So this is a custom built, and the markings are a bit hard to see. Let me make sure that I'm able to see them before I try to point them out to you. Yeah, they're, they're right in this area here. So hopefully you'll be able to see that. Um, and it is custom built uh, imported briar. And unfortunately this band is covering some of the, uh, the stamping. So this band was very likely applied after uh, the pipe was made and probably is an aftermarket adaptation. Now what's interesting is when I take the stem off, I was expecting to see a crack, but there's really no evidence of cracking in there. So it's almost like the band was just applied for decorative reasons. But, uh, oh, it is what it is. Uh, it's, not, it's, it's not an unattractive band, and it'll, it'll polish up nicely, so that won't be a, an issue. For the most part, the stumble is in very good shape. The bowl interior needs a little bit of reaming, not not too much, but just a, just a tad bit of reaming uh, around the edges. Actually, the bottom is, is reamed out, but the edges have some uh, buildup. Uh, the, the, the upper edges have some buildup that I want to take down. Also, um, the airway, let's see if I can get this to show up. Nah, I can't. The airway's a little high. Um, try a pipe cleaner in here. Yeah, it just exits just a little bit high above the bowl. So I want Jack to enjoy this for many years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to ream this and I am going to do a pipe mortar treatment uh, just to raise the bottom of that bowl up a little bit and uh, you know provide a bowl coating for him to, to get a good good start to his uh, smoking of this pipe. The other thing is that there's a little bit of, uh, I don't know if that's build up or burn on, on the rim here. We'll try to clean that up, you know, we'll do the Murphy's oil soak treatment, see how much of that comes off. Um, and we're probably going to wind up doing a little bit of a restain on the rim because there are some chips and such. I'm not going to take any of those chips out. I'm going to I'm going to leave them because I don't want to really sand this too much. I, I don't want to change the the profile at all, especially with that really nice dog's head on there. Uh, I'll clean it lightly. You can see it still has its original uh, glossy finish, so I don't want to 
do too much, but I will clean out the um, the grooves because they tend to collect dust and dirt. And I'll do some cleaning around the dog and of the dog just because I really want that to to stand out when when we're all done. And beyond that, it's just going to be a matter of buffing and polishing it. So this is in very good shape. The stem is also not in terrible shape. Uh, there's some tooth chatter, I think. Uh, there's some odd marks here that don't quite look like tooth chatter, but they're more diagonal scratches of some sort. On this side, there's clearly is some chatter, but there's also this area here that's been raised up for some reason. I don't know if uh, that was burned. You know, maybe it was in an ashtray with a cigar or something. I, I don't know, but that's easily fixed. These are not very deep at all and there's plenty of meat on the stem to just uh, file those out and sand it. The rest of the stem is in excellent shape so nothing else really to do other than clean it. And yeah cleaning is going to be a, a big part of this one and we're you know, going to do that with pipe cleaners and ethanol and uh, Everclear and get everything cleaned up. We'll fix the stem We'll do a retort of the pipe before we put in the pipe mortar, and then we'll put in the pipe mortar, buff and wax, and this will be on its way to Jack. Um, now, I did want to talk a little bit about this this uh, carving here, because, like I said, this is unique. I did not know Custom Built made these. D Jack was pretty convinced that they did. Uh, Doug told me that he was actually surprised to learn that, that uh, Custom Built had made these uh, carved pipes. So I looked into the history a bit, and sure enough, they did uh, during the um, Eugene Rich era. So Tracy Minser still owned the company, but he was working with Eugene Rich. So this would put it around uh, somewhere between 1946 and 1950 that this pipe would have been made. And that fits with the custom-built stamping here. Uh, the carvings were done by a guy named Herzer Hartsock, and he did a lot of carvings. Uh, it just random things, uh, many animals, so he, there's there's examples of bass and ram's heads, um, horses heads as I mentioned, uh, dog obviously. Uh, he also did one of Roosevelt, so th this was apparently not a, um, you know, they didn't have a line of, well they had a line of them, but they didn't have like the dog pipe or the, it, it seems like it just was, he was carving whatever he felt like carving. Um, there was also the ability to custom order pipes with, with, with carving so people could you know request particular subjects and I'm not sure if this is a, an original carving that, that Herzog just came up with or if this is actually something that was requested by someone but it is definitely a spaniel and that makes it really really cool. All right, guys, not a lot of work to do on this one, so this will probably just be uh, one uh, video in addition to, to this introduction video. I'm going to do some of the pipe cleaner stuff off screen just because that's boring. Uh, but I will, uh, so I'll do the, the internal cleaning, the reaming and the internal cleaning off screen, and I'll do the rest of this work as much as possible in the, uh, the video to come. So thank you very much for, for watching. Uh, please, if you're interested in seeing the next video in, in, in this series, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified when it posts. Your likes and comments are always appreciated. The likes really help, help us get the word out about the channel. And I really enjoy your comments and questions. So with that, thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.